Thank you for joining my series on Binance, which is one of my favorite crypto altcoin exchanges. In this series, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Binance, A through Z. So whether it's registering a new account to deposits, withdrawals, understanding the fee structure all the way through to trading. So what makes Binance one of my favorite crypto exchanges? It's because of the depth of coins that they offer. They offer dozens upon dozens of altcoins, all with a pretty good liquidity. So you're able to get in and out of the coins that you want. All one, all two, all three. Back with that, back with So in this video, I'm going to show you how to register your account and how to secure your account and then potentially leading into uh, higher verification if, you're, if you need to be able to withdraw uh, higher amounts of Bitcoin. So if you enjoy this video, please follow me on Twitter at CryptoQF and obviously follow me on YouTube. Subscribe at Crypto uh, Quantumental. So let's jump right into it. Uh, first and foremost, please make sure your web address is Binance.com. No funny characters above the I's or the N's. That is how you get fished. So certainly make sure you have the right address. Let's go ahead, jump right into register. And you will see this um, nice compact screen. Go ahead and type in your email address. So I made a new email address for this purpose. Crypto QF2 at gmail.com. And then you certainly want a very secure password. Uh, I'm just typing in something pretty quick and easy here, mainly because I am not going to be using this account. Uh, this is just to show you guys what to do. Then please put in a referral ID here of 2000-7972. I would certainly appreciate it quite a bit. And go ahead and you agree to Binance terms. Uh, don't save your passcode because you never want to do that. And then complete Binance's fancy puzzle. And that'll get you started. Then they're going to send you a quick email. So I'm going to hop over to uh, my Gmail account and wait for it. Binance is pretty quick and you see it pop up. And go ahead, verify your email address here. Then you can jump right in and log back in. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do crypto QF2, type in my password I just made, and we are good to go. So what you want to make sure before you do anything is to make sure your account is secured. But I guess before we do that, we have to check off these boxes. And again, this is very much based upon security. So the first one, make sure you're not getting fished. Uh, you know, Binance.com, no fancy characters, and don't do anything that's not very secure, like download bad uh, browser plugins or uh, talk to somebody that claims they're from Binance on the phone. Anything that most people would think is pretty obvious. And so once we get through that checklist, you get to your main screen here, which they are already asking to enable 2FA or two-factor authentication. I can barely even say that word. I don't know what's going on with me, but uh, what you want to do here is download the Google authentication app. You do not want to do SMS. So we're going to do Google. So what this is basically going to do is force, uh, I'm going to call it another password type thing on top of your account. So it makes it even more secure than hopefully your very strong password. So uh, first you need to download the, the Google uh, authentication app uh, via whatever store you're using. And here you want to make sure you're using a burner phone. Do not use your main phone because uh, you know you don't, that's just another security, potential security breach. So try to use a cheap phone that you have if possible and download this app. And then you need to scan the QR code. You're scanning this code in the Google app, which I just did. 
then please make sure you write down your backup key. So this is if your phone, that your burner phone that you have gets lost or stolen, whatever it might be, and you need to log into your account. Well, guess what? You can't log into your account anymore because you lost your phone. You don't have the authentication uh, code. So please write down this backup key. Then here we're going to uh, enable it. So the authentic authentication code is going to now be on your phone in that Google app. Oh, it failed. So let's try again. Yep, there it goes, it's succeeded. So you can see that it actually works. So now we are in and now we have 2FA activated. Now I think the next best thing, you definitely want to set up an anti-phishing code. So here you click that and this helps you not get phished. So you want to put in a code, put in crypto quantum mental here, now click submit and it's asking for your 2FA code again. See my code is different this time and it's not working. I think it's just because it needs to kind of set up, re-log in a couple of times. So we'll try one more time and see if that works. But Either way, you definitely want to set an anti-phishing code, whether it's the first time you log in or the second or third, but make sure you do it pretty darn quick. Yeah, it's not working. So let's just forget about that right there, but make sure you do that. Maybe we'll do, do it this way, see if that works. Oh, there it goes. So I could not use a space in Crypto Quantum Mental. But either way, now we have our anti-phishing uh, up to speed here. So what you want to do now is upgrade and submit your verification documents. I know a lot of you actually want to stay pretty anonymous. So if that's the case, uh, that is your choice. But I, I generally like to verify my account. I have nothing to hide. Uh, so I, I verify my account to increase my withdrawal limit. Not that I have anything close to 100 BTC to withdraw, but the, the reality is you never know what's going to happen. You don't want to get stuck with say 2.2 BTC, 2.2 Bitcoins, and you're only able to withdraw two in a 24 hour period because you just never know. So you might as well uh, upgrade your limits. And by that, you just cl click submit verification, uh, personal here, and then you go ahead and type your information. Just kind of go through this process. I've already done it on my own personal account, so I'm not gonna do it again here but you just go ahead, submit this, uh, this information, and you are good to go. And now you have to have a pretty rock solid Binance account. And we'll move on to my next video, where we're gonna understand a bit about depositing, withdrawing, etc. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you soon.